Hey guys, welcome back to I'm Mafel. I'm super excited that we have reached the end of season three. I'm sad to see the end of the season, but I am super excited for how much we were able to achieve this season. We started off in quarantine together. We exercised together. We made COVID-19 immune boosting potions together. Uh, all while maintaining our mental health, not forgetting to be good wives and good husbands while we spent time together in each other's space. This season has been amazing, guys, because I've been able to uh, delve deeper into my life, show you a bit more about the intricate details of my life. I've been a bit more transparent with what goes on behind closed doors, especially when it comes to ministry and my family life, especially my kids. You saw Tabitha and Talia this season um, pouring out their heart on how they felt about our move to Watford. And it was just beautiful to watch. We uh, received so much good feedback. It was fantastic. I think this by far has been the best season um, in the sense that I was able to talk about issues that I otherwise wouldn't have had the bravery to talk about perhaps in season one and two. For example, we touched on the controversial topic of the £20 note. Um, that by far was my most watched video this season with over 23,000 views. And it, there was a lot of controversy surrounding it. People were like, are you sure you want to talk about this? Are you sure you want to uh, delve into some of these political issues? But it was amazing. Um, I got hit up by BBC to do an interview on there. Um, we talked about um, the George Floyd situation, which gave rise uh, to another wave of the Black Lives Matter. And um, being able to talk about, you know, social justice and looking at, you know, Christianity and how we need to maintain our peace when it comes to injustices was also a very good uh, um, wave in which IMFL went. So I think this season, all in all, we touched up on so many topics that we otherwise wouldn't have. And I think it was fantastic and very well received. Guys, the amount of support I received this season was phenomenal. And I cannot but thank you guys and appreciate you for posting my videos, reposting my stories, um, prayer wave hands, love hearts, love struck, all of that. I'm so appreciative of you guys. Um, I can't tell you enough. You know, people were reposting, people were sending me encouraging messages. It's been phenomenal, guys. Take a look at what other people had to say about the channel and that will give you a glimpse of the type of support we've had this season. Yes, inside my fishbowl life, can't lie to you, that's my favourite season so far. Um, simply because I love the process that um, Dorcas and Richard are taking us on. Do you know what I mean? I feel like even just the whole process of um, them having twins and then seeing the babies come out, I can't lie, I think I had a tear. I just had to wipe it quickly, I was confused. But just that process in itself, just knowing that that's something that I want to do, I want to be there one day, you know, having a, having kids is just mad. And the fact that you were so transparent and showing us the whole process of having children was something that I really, really was in awe of. Keep up the great work, it's been amazing so far and I'm excited for season four. Dorcas, you beat me to my range, man. My own personal dream range. I can't lie. I'm gonna have to put my head down harder now, car. I need that range, baby. I might just have to get the matte black thing still. But enough about the range. Listen, Dorcas, Richard, I'm waiting for season four still. Bow. IMFL season three. What an amazing, amazing season. I honestly cannot see how you guys did it. Every single episode was fun, informative, educative, challenging, dealing with conspiracy theories on the new £20 notes, COVID issues, um, dealing with social injustice, I'm um, talking about sex and marriage, um, letting us in, into your anniversaries, letting us into um, the, the birth of your two beautiful twins. I honestly enjoyed every single episode. I don't know how you're gonna top this in season four but i'm praying that you do because i've really been enjoying it and of course to top it all off more blessings
post-COVID church service. Thank you, Pastor, for teaching us. I'm so excited for season four and I cannot wait. God bless you guys. Thank you. Season three of IMFL was amazing. Like, I'm... I loved the five love languages one. I loved the good husband and good wife guide. And I really, really enjoyed the mental health awareness one as well. But I think my favorite one was when Dr. revealed that she had twins. I think she needs like three more sets of twins so we can have three more episodes. Hi, my name is Michael. And um, what I've enjoyed so far about Dorcas's series in, in my fishbowl life is um, the prenup video. I thought it was really spectacular how the animations were able to articulate a story and not just that, especially the one which highlighted um, the married couple walking into a room with no windows essentially and um, just them um, figuring out and working out um, their, their relationship with one another and I believe it's such an important foundation of our, for our, um, for marriages going forward and um, I believe it's a, a topic that's not really spoken about today, um, it's, especially knowing that it's creeping into our church. So that was a great, great video for me to watch. And it was one which was e easily to digest as well. So, yeah, big up Dorcas for that one. I loved it. Loved it. Hope you stay blessed. So this season, what I most enjoyed was the transparency that Dorcas came with. There's so many times where she was sharing uh, really real and raw aspects of her life. And it was just really amazing to see. Um, I most enjoyed seeing the videos on her childbirth experience. Um, I wasn't expecting to see that, but it was also really, really cool to see. Um, it was raw and it was real and it was really inspiring, if anything. Um, I'm mostly looking forward to more content that Dorcas wants to share um, and also just tips and just learning life experiences. So, yeah. A video that has really grabbed me in the season of I'm a Fell. I would say would be um, when Dorcas broke down the ministry story. I just thought that was such a moving insight into what it means to have such a radical, amazing call of God on your life to go into full-time ministry, to be a pastor, to shepherd so many people and the impact that's had on their family life, um, their work life and just what it means to really be sacrificial and give up things, knowing that greater is coming, knowing that God is in control of it all and I think that really moved me and spoke to me about my life and made me reflect on the ways I can be better in being sacrificial and giving up my time and other parts of my life for the call of God. Thanks. I love all the IMFL videos but most especially the episode that is titled Is it right to marry a man younger than yourself? Um, I think because it's a topic without one solid biblical answer there are many opinions on it but i just love the way Dorcas broke it down so beautifully by listing the pros and the cons of why it's right or why it's not right to marry a man younger than you i think it gave me things to think about which i had never thought about myself so i just love that i think it concluded nicely in that once there's love when it comes to marriage age is nothing but a number hello guys i go by the name it is official formerly known as obed and my name is uh, Admarco or Osborne, you can call me. So today, yeah, we are here just to give a quick review about IMFL, Inside My Fishbowl Life. Yeah, so this season, um, we just finished um, season three and it's been really impactful. I've learned a lot about ministry, you know. It's been it's been a good season so far. As I said, I've I've watched most of the videos and what I really like that about, about the whole channel is it doesn't only focus on our spiritual well-being or development, but it focuses on our finance, it focuses on education, it covers a whole lot of variety and it's a holistic thing. So yeah, man, um, it's, been, it's been really beneficial, it's been really good, especially as young people as well, seeing someone we can relate to someone we actually know putting such a good content out there is really benefited us and i hope each and every one of you will stay tuned in for the next season and i hope you stay blessed as well yeah so as my, my brother said it's been transparent you know i've liked the conversation you know when um the a guide of a good wife as well i really learned a lot and i would literally recommend it for everyone out there so until next season we all can wait stay tuned 
I really enjoyed the good wife guide I feel like it was such an eye-opener obviously as someone that wants to get married in the future God willingly I know the spiritual aspect is important but seeing all the practical things as well I was like wow like it's a lot so it really put things into perspective as well but it was such a beneficial video and it was hilarious as well even the bit where Dukas mentioned about the scratching of their feet it was funny but I loved the video and I took so many notes from it so yeah i've loved the series did someone say imfl well hey guys i'm Dr. from glasgow and i'm a massive imfl fan my favorite video to date has been the one which addressed the injustices in america and the tragic killing of george floyd i love the sis doctors does not shy away from controversial topics but really addresses them with grace humility and allows us all to grow together this season has been amazing everything from the content the opening graphics like cheese there's been levels to this and for anyone who does not for IMFL like guys there's still time to walk in the light god bless you hi guys hello um, this season IMFL has been good the two that I've particularly enjoyed I think are the ministry one and the the white paper one I guess because it relates it's related to me <laughs> um, but yeah the ministry one it was just nice to see transparency I guess about the whole process um, and it kind of answers questions for people and stuff like that um, and the white paper one was just cute. Um, for me, I'm just, you know, it was like, oh God, this is what, you know, our kids will go through. But it was, it was just nice to see the transparency, I think. Yeah, I think for that one in particular, um, the fact that you, you got the kids involved as well, just to see the whole picture, because usually from what I have heard, uh, people just tend to, it's just the adults that tend to deal with the whole thing. But the fact that you've been able to, um, at least carry the kids along this journey, making sure that they're aware of what's, what's going to be happening next. I thought it was really, really good. Good, um, A tip that would, we will definitely take into <laughs> place when, when we have ours as well. So, yeah. yeah. Really so just wishing the, 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 the future seasons well. Um, I'm sure it will be really good and impact a lot of young people in our society today. So You're well. doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Um, something that we don't see in our setting often. And so... Keep on the good work. We're praying for you. We're right behind you. And anything we can do to support, just hit us up. Thank you. God bless. Me and my sister are going to tell you how it feels like doing I'm a Fell. Tally, what is your favourite about I'm a Fell? My favourite is when mommy got the babies in her tummy. My favourite is when mummy travelled to the hospital and got the babies. And the fact that we went to go and see mummy. It feels okay. I'm even fine when mummy and daddy still don't play with me and we, and we don't get to spend time with them. When mummy and daddy are doing I'm a fail, we're not supposed to come. So that I get to spend time with mommy and daddy. I don't like it when mommy and daddy do stuff wrong and they're not focusing. So that's all I don't like in the video. So now I'm going to pass it on to my sister Talia. Stay tuned and listen what she's going to say. I don't like when dad and mommy don't. Just don't do stuff right. So stay tuned guys, press the tick and you'll get to see more videos. Stay tuned. Bye. And guys, I hope that you can see from what my girls um, just talked about. IMFL was taking a lot of our time, days when we would stay right up through the night until 9, 10 o'clock. Then I'd come to my husband and be like, do you want a cup of tea? And he would look at me and he'd be like, I don't want a cup of tea <laughs> because he's so tired and it's been crazy. Uh, my brother's been helping from behind the scene, as you guys know, Elements AV. Guys, check him out on YouTube. He's fantastic. Um, Travelled all the way from where he lives to come and stay with us during the quarantine season to help us to film, to edit. It was non-stop. And guys, you can see the quality. It is people that have put all of this into it. 
it's been a really interesting season. Um, we've all learned a lot. I've picked up so many skills um, along the way. A lot of sleepless nights. My work, my wife has worked tirelessly. Um, you know, Joe Elements has worked tirelessly um, to get what we did bring to the table uh, forward. And so I think it's a well-deserved break that we all need to be able to re-strategize and reprioritize. actually. Um, there's so many things that are happening in our lives at the moment that we need to ensure we're putting, you know, the right plans and the right things in place. So um, the break is definitely needed, um, although during the break we would still be um, covering various things that do happen. Um, so, you know, you're not going to lose out on that time of our lives. We want to solicit your prayer support in this next season of our lives. Um, you know, keep on praying for us, keep on supporting. And, um, you know, I think you would all um, join me in thanking my wife for bringing IMFL to us and commending her for the consistency and the work. I think she's done 29 videos, including this particular one. And, um, you know, that takes some momentum. Um, and so, well done, baby. This is me putting it on camera for you. You've done a great job. I love you very much and keep on shining your light for the whole world to see. On that note, I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all the guys behind IMFL who have helped to push this channel from day one. Uh, for you guys to see these type of videos, to see the quality of videos that you see, to see the content that you see. Um, it's not all my ideas. People have been pushing me. There's days when it's my own video and I don't feel like pushing it, you know, and my husband's behind me and he's cheering me on and he's saying, you've got to post your own video. You know, we've done the work. Um, you know, so many other names that I cannot mention uh, because I'll get in trouble. Uh, but I just want to say that God bless you so much. I appreciate everything that you do, my girl, Kath. I really appreciate it. I know you have so much going on yourself already, uh, but beside all of that, you've put me first, and I really, really appreciate that. God bless you guys so much. I love you all. I think you can appreciate now why I need this break and why we've come to the end of the season. Um, so as you know, we're moving to Watford. We've got a, an eminent move uh, next month. So we've got to pack up. We've got to sort out the kids, school and everything, and then move over and go and start district ministry work, which will take a bit of our time as well. So we're going to use this break to uh, unwind, to recoup, and to come back bigger and better for what else is left for IMFL, for what is to come for IMFL in the future. So stay tuned, guys. Keep watching, keep sharing, keep getting your mates to subscribe. Just because we're out of season doesn't mean we won't drop a video here or there. We've always got you guys and we appreciate everything that you do for IMFL. Big up, God bless you, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.